you're the redhead with the big pads and the big heart. <laughs> right. Thank you. Did you ever look to uh, professional athletes as a role model? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. So certainly growing up when I was 8, 10, 12 years old, 14 years old, I loved football. I was watching Joe Montana throw touchdown pass after touchdown pass to Jerry Rice. And um, with kid obviously didn't grow up wanting to be quarterback for the 49ers and be Joe Montana. The Bruins, the, our Boston hockey team was great when I was that about that age too. So Cam Neely, Ray Bork, Andy Moog. Um, I remember sports, and if you're growing up in Boston, um, you grow up in a rabid sports yes. community, right? Yes. Um, and so um, it's a, as you know far better than I, but from an outsider's perspective, um, a great place when you're winning and a tough place to play regardless, the pressure that the community puts on its athletes because it, it's something that the city takes in a huge amount of pride in, is the yeah. success of our, of our team. There's athletes, are the, the superstars, the Tom Brady's, the Cam Neely's, the Ray Borks, if you will, the community is absolutely devoted to. But there's also those athletes that the community recognizes that plays the game right and plays it well and might not have that superstardom up um, that some of the others do. The Dennis Johnsons, right? Um, the uh, Danny Ainges, the Kevin Turner, one of my favorites on the um, old Patriot players, and um, Drew Bledsoe, whose helmet is right there. Right? Um, <laughs> these guys that, that played the game right and played the game well. I played high school football. I was a terrible football player. Um, I was about 185 pounds. I played center, guard, tackle. You tried. That's all right. <laughs> big heart. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Um, You're the redhead with the big pads and the big heart. <laughs> right. Thank you. Um, so we lost a lot. Um, we, were, we played 13 kids, essentially, my senior league, uh, my senior season. Um, and we, all of us got beat up, too. Um, but you had a chance to play high school football. And again, it, it wasn't a, a great level of competition. No, nobody was going to play Division One, But you never came out of the field, and you're playing with your best friend. Um, and it was something that um, you went through those practices together. You went through the games together. You went through the ups and downs together. And you came out to, on the other side together. And that was... Um, you know, some of the most important lessons I've learned, I think, like you and I'm sure so many other athletes out there, it happened on a, a playing field or a court or some, you know, during the performance of a sport, right? Where you get hit and you get knocked down and you get back up again and you take the next play. Uh -oh.